Hello. So this is going to be, um, I guess, a, a view, uh, more or less, just what's inside of this Mountain Smith Vibe 2. So this is um, what I bought a while ago, uh, I think two or three years back. And I saw this at a store, um, Outdoor Gear Exchange, OGE, and it was $7.99. And there was a, there was another one just like this, just different color. I think it was blue and gray, and it was like thirty-seven, ninety-nine. So I don't know why there was such a big um, price difference there, but I kind of liked the other one better. But I was like, uh, black and green is also cool. So I bought that one just you know, for for eight bucks, and um, I began to fill it with many things inside. So this is what I've carried around. Um, not a lot, but I've carried this when I um, go shooting. Um, I'll throw it in my backpack when I go on little hikes because it just has everything in it. And um, I've carried this around at school. I've just thrown this in my bag, and I know I just have all these things that I could need if I needed anything. Um, but I've carried this around. Um, I've, if you could say I've, you know, I've made this part of my EDC, um, but. Let's just get to started what's inside. So, in this front pocket here, I have a comb, some chapstick um, in the big pouch, and in the smaller one, I have a little cloth cleaner, paper clips. You know, those are pretty good for just if you need to punch something out. Um, and then that little scraper here that came with a case that I bought. Um, Pen and pencil. This one is um, Zebra F310, I think. I, I can't remember, but it's a compact one. It's uh, pretty nifty. Definitely cool. Oh, yeah, right here. F301 compact. Sorry. Uh, but that's a nice pen. And I guess my, embar my embarrassing pry bar tool. It's I haven't needed to use it yet um, but you know it's something that I can beat on and not worry about it's not too strong but you know it's something I can use to pop something if I need to but it's just cheap and real easy so that's it that's what's in this um, big pocket more interesting stuff on the inside I have tons of stuff so first thing just I have loose sitting in the bottom here is um, my Leatherman kick here. This is a um, great little multi-tool because it it has the things you really need: knife, some um, pliers, and I've used these. And these are just these uh, screwdrivers are really great screwdrivers. I use them for many things: shooting at the range, uh, building furniture. Um, they just they just work great. Um, you know, big screwdriver, can opener. Haven't used that yet because. Victorinox make a great can opener, but I also got the pocket clip on this when I was carrying this around in my pocket with, um, I would just clip it on, so that's nifty, but good pliers, you know, many tools. Then I got, here I got a, I got a whistle here, um, up top through this tag I have rope so that stays tucked and out of the way when, when I need it, if I need it. I got um, rubber bands and um, some matches in here. And in this big pocket, I have you know roll of duct tape, some gloves. This is kind of like the medical stuff, I guess. Um, and I just got... Band-aids, cotton swabs, not not many at all. Just just a few things, just just in case. And I got a bigger band-aid here, and just pieces of paper. And that's what I have in there. I don't I don't have anything clipped to this, um, but that works. And in here I got um, my bird meadow lark. I this one's great because it's. Fairly big, nice handle, and lightweight. I could take the pocket clip off and make it more compact, but um, it works. It's good. It's always 
good to know that I have another knife with me when I'm carrying this. And same with a flashlight. This one is um, solitaire LED one. When this works, this thing's great. It's um, all you would need for little lighting needs. Eh. It's not too bright, but it uh, it does its job in here. <clears throat> And then I just got some more cordage here. This is, this rope, I love this stuff. This, I didn't buy. It's dangling right here. It's um, for the blinds. When you, um, it's the cord you would use to close and open the blinds. And these things always break. So when they do break, I'm happy that they do because then I get more cordage. And this is just good stuff. It's like, it's nylon. And it has a strand in the inside too. So I don't know what the weight maximum carry is on this, but it's it's good. I like it most. You can see I use it on lots of things here. It's just just good little strong rope. I like it. So I carry that around in there. But this um, this is just a great pouch. I really like it. Um, there's all these extra loops on here. I'm not sure what these are used for but they're on each side and on the top but I really like I, I really like how this has everything I would need together and it's compact and it, it doesn't look so big and goofy and I can I, if, if I'm wearing you know a button up shirt in the winter um, if I pull this up and tighten it up good I can make this almost disappear when I'm carrying it so it, it is it is nice to have um, clasp the buckle is great Tightening it is good. Uh, cool thing about this is one time I was in a, I was getting out of the parking lot and I forgot that I, uh, I unbuckled this. I needed to do something, so I unbuckled this. So this was just around me, and I got out and I forgot about it. I thought it would stay with me, but it came off, and it just landed right down in a huge puddle of slush. This was in the winter time, so it was just dirt, salt, and snow and anything else that's on the ground oil and it just landed right in it it was this huge blob and it was nasty and gross um but i picked it up wiped it off and that's all i did to this i didn't do any i didn't clean it or anything and once it dried it doesn't look like anything has gotten into the fabric or soaked in or stained this i, I was really surprised this didn't get salty or dirty or anything so I was just really surprised um, but this is this is a good quality definitely good quality pouch here and this is all I just this is the only things I carry in here I don't um, switch it out too much um, but this is this is definitely nice to have knowing that I have all these tools in it like I said I'll go shooting so it's always it's definitely nice to have pliers on hand if I you know I carry this around. I need to do stuff with sights. I got a nice screwdriver in here. I need to cut something open with the pliers. Uh, adjust something with the tighten something with the pliers. It, it's you know I have it. I have it right on my hip. I don't need it. Oh, it's in my range bag, and I need to go grab it. It's it's right on me, which is pretty convenient. Um, same with the knife and whatnot. But I haven't needed to use any of these things that much. Like I said, I use the pliers a lot, but it's 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 always good to have these things here. But like I said, it's also nice. Um, I'll use this backpacking. I'll go mountain biking, so I'll just grab this. And I'll throw it in my bag, and I know I have all these. You know, I got a couple first aid things here. I got flashlight. You know, a tool to use on my bike if something breaks and. It's just good to have, you know, in the winter time, you know, it's always definitely good to have the chapstick, but it's just a great pouch, so I just wanted to show you the things I got in it. Um, like I said, I don't EDC this thing too much, but I do throw it around um, my waist every now and then when I go um, out shooting or out for the day, I'll, I'll put this on, and I, you know, it, it's, it's nice to have all these things available to me. Um, even though I may already have a knife on me, it's it's always it's always good to have a backup. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you what I got in this.
Alright, thanks for watching.